Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have the function f, which is defined in this way. For z is equal to zero, its value is one, and for z is equal to z is not equal to zero, its value is sine z upon z. So we have to prove that it is entire function with the help of suitable power series. Okay. And after that, we have to prove the value of this limit is one with the help of that power series again. So here. We have to use suitable power series. So here the well-known function is a sine z, and we are familiar with its power series. We are going to use it now. So let us right here. We have. So we all are familiar with power power series of sine z, which is z minus z cube by three factorial plus z raised to five by five factorial, and so on, having alternate minus plus signs. As you can see here, we have to divide by z. So let us divide both sides by z. So therefore, sine z upon z is equal to. So here in right hand side, we can divide each term by z separately. So the power of z will reduce by one, and we will have one minus here we have z square by three factorial plus z raised to four by five factorial, and so on. Since we have divided each term by z separately, right? So sine z upon z is equal to this power series. So that means sine z upon z has a power series representation. Let me mention here. Therefore, sine z upon z has power series representation. Okay, representation. So we know that if any function has power series representation, definitely it is an analytic function, right? So therefore, for z is not equal to zero, it has power series representation. So therefore, for z is not equal to zero, f is an analytic function, or you can say it is differentiable function. So what is our target? Our target is to prove it is an entire function. Entire function means what? It should be analytic everywhere, getting? Or you can say it is differentiable everywhere. For z is not equal to zero, we have already proved it is analytic. So simply we have to check its differentiability at z is equal to zero. So let us do that. Let me mention. Now, now we will discuss. Differentiability at z is equal to zero. So I'm going to follow the definition of differentiability. Getting so the definition is then limit z tends to zero f of z minus f of zero upon z minus zero. So by definition of differentiability, we got this one. Differentiability at z is equal to zero. So let us put the values. The value of f of z is sine z upon z. Okay. The value of f of zero that means at z is equal to zero, its value is one, and z minus zero is obviously z. So this is equal to limit z tends to zero. Sine z upon z has this power series representation, so I'm going to put its value there. So it will be one minus what we have z square. By three factorial plus z raised to four by five factorial and so on, minus one is there divided by z. So what will happen? This plus one and minus one will get cancelled to each other, right? So this is equal to limit z tends to zero. So all the remaining terms, getting all the remaining terms has uh, see all the remaining terms has z. So we can divide separately. All remaining terms at z. So if you divide separately, the power of z will be reduced by one. So we'll have one by three factorial. Uh, sorry, z by three factorial. One z will get cancelled, and one z will be there plus z cube by five factorial, and so on. So if I apply the limit, apply the limit. That means at the place of z, I'm going to put zero. So here we will have zero. If I put z is equal to zero, here also we will have zero. And all remaining terms will have zero, so the value is zero. So actually, we are not interested in the value of derivative. We are interested whether it exists or not, and definitely it exists. Its value is zero. So therefore, we can declare. Therefore, 
एफ इज डिफरेंशिएबल डिफरेंशिएबल एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो इफ जेड इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज ऑलरेडी डिफरेंशिएबल और यू कैन से इट इज ऑलरेडी एनालिटिक एंड फॉर जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो ऑल्सो इट इज डिफरेंशिएबल सो देयर फॉर द फंक्शन एफ इज एनालिटिक एवरीवेयर ऑन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन ओके सो मेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट ऑफ इट फर्स्ट देन आई विल गो फॉर द सो हि ऑलरेडी आई हैव डिक्लेयर द फंक्शन इज एंटायर फंक्शन सिंस इट इज डिफरेंशिएबल एट जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड फॉर जेड इज नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो इट इज ऑल्सो डिफरेंशिएबल राइट so after that we will go further and we have to find the value of this limit so let us consider let us consider limit z tends to 0 sin z upon z so this is equal to limit z tends to 0 so sin z upon z its series already we have got so let us put that series here we have already calculated its series so 1 minus z square by 3 factorial Plus z is to five by sorry z is to four by five factorial and so on right. So after that I will apply the limit. That means simply at a place of z I am going to put zero. So one is a constant. It will be as it is. Here I am going to put zero. So value will be zero. Here also zero and all remaining terms will be zero. So finally we get the value of limit is one. Okay, let me write properly. so the value of this limit is 1 so in this way prove that make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you